Hi everyone, my name is Tony Okamoto and I am starting a new series called Tea Time with Tony where I introduce all of my awesome friends and have them tell their stories. I have the pleasure and privilege of knowing so many wonderful people doing great things and I like to highlight their work. And so today on my first session, I have Nora Kramer here who is the founder of EA Camp, uh, an awesome activist camp for youth and um, I'd like to introduce her. So Nora, can you please tell me about yourself and what you do? Yes, first of all, I have to say I am so honored to be your first guest. <laughs> this you. is a thrill. So, um, so yeah, I've been um, a pretty obsessed activist um, on vegan issues for about 15 years. And um, through my years of working on um, doing grassroots outreach and working for a number of different animal rights organizations, uh, and recognizing that young people are some of the most um, inspired people when they learn about what's happening to animals and, and all the benefits to going vegetarian or vegan. Um, I s started a summer camp for young people who want to change the world. So yes, yeah, so we've been doing it since 2009 and we've got camps, we have, it's a week-long overnight summer camp with locations on the East Coast and the West Coast and we have kids from all over the country who come to it and by the end of the camp they create an action plan for how they want to make a difference when they go home so it's pretty awesome and inspiring to get to work with like the best teenagers on the planet. And how did you come up with such a, like, how does one start a camp? Like how did you get there? Well it was, it took a while. Um, I, I came up with the idea when I started volunteering at an after school program. I really was, I mentioned I was kind of an obsessed activist so I kind of tried a little bit of everything or a lot of everything. I've done leafleting, I had uh, organized conferences about vegetarianism, I had written leaflet, you know, flyers and written for what, I've just done a little bit of everything um, for a long time and um, I, wanting to work with youth, I started volunteering at this after school program. I taught a class at a middle school called Animals in the Environment and the kids were so into it. I loved it. It was so much fun. And I had some parents ask me for any suggestions for things that their kids could do during the summer. And I started looking around thinking there should be a camp for activists. Like I knew there was like band camp and soccer camp and things like that. And so sh there should be an activism camp, but I wasn't finding anything like, out like that out there. So I started working at, the, at camps every summer really trying to find the camp that I thought should exist. So I worked at camps all over the country that were the closest thing I could find to what I wanted to rec recommend for people. And I wasn't really finding what I wanted to exist. So I got my teaching credential. I did just a lot of work on myself. Um, I continued as an activist working on a number of different causes and eventually got to a place where, you know, I'd worked as a camp director, got my teaching credential, been um, learning from a lot of different programs and it, eventually it was like, okay, I'm now ready to start this thing. Cool. And what is the camp set up? So is it uh, a week long, a month long? Is uh, they're an age range? Yeah, so each camp is eight days. It's an overnight camp and we have locations around the country um, for 12 to 17 year olds who know that they want to make a difference on a cause. And the camp itself is not about any one topic. So each of our campers about halfway through chooses what we call their IOI, their issue of importance that they want to focus on. So all our food is vegan and we always attract a lot of kids who care about animal rights or the environment. Um, but that's not the point of the camp. So a lot of our kids are concerned about racism or bullying happening at their school or women's rights or poverty or other causes that are important to them. And they get a chance throughout the week to learn a lot about these different issues from each other. We give them opportunities to what we say is to share about what they care about. So maybe you really care about animal rights and that's not something I've really thought that much about, but I get to learn about it from you. Or maybe I really care about that too and here's my new BFF who cares as much as I do because a lot of these kids have never really been around or don't really know a lot of other people who care about the same issues that they do or who care as much as they do. So that's, I think, one of my favorite parts about it is just the community that they get to create. And do you see people leaving with uh 
taking their new ideas and applying them to their home life? Oh, for sure. Yeah, our kids have done so many inspiring things. Like a lot of them have started clubs at their school. We have kids who are working on getting meatless Mondays at their school who've gotten composting or got improved the recycling at their school. Um, we've gotten kids who've gotten more veg or vegan options in their cafeteria. A lot of our kids have started animal rights or other clubs. Um, I'm kind of highlighting more of the veg things yeah. for your audience, but um, we have kids who've gotten anti-bullying initiatives really at their great. school, done fundraisers for different causes. Um, a lot of a bunch of our kids just um, participated in farm sanctuaries, walked for farm animals, and raised a bunch of money for farm sanctuary. So they go off and do all kinds of inspiring things, and they report back a lot to each other to really keep themselves inspired because they've shared about this action plan of what they're planning on doing when they go home, and it's really fun for them to get to share, like, look what I did, you know, and they get to, you know, keep each other inspired um, throughout the year by, you know, showing, um, showing what they've each done yeah. and, and kind of rooting each other on. Uh, how are you, well, how are you, one, um, recruiting, and two, how is this how is this supported? How are you able to do this work? Yeah, so um, a lot of people find out about it word of mouth. You know, their friends went to the camp, and you, maybe their friends have told them about it or posted on their social media or something like that. Um, a lot of our kids are in school clubs, and so they'll talk about the camp in their club, and so some of the club members will, will join. Um, we have a lot of um, organizations who have been really helpful, and blogs like yourself, um, or like your blog, who um, have publicized us. So maybe someone watching this video thinks like, oh, I know some a teenager who would really like the camp. Um, we do some outreach to schools and um, different community groups so people can find out about, about us that way. Um, and um, in terms of funding, so there's a cost, there's a tuition for the camp, mm -hmm. um, but we're really proud we've never turned anybody away for lack of funds, so we have a scholarship program because okay. we recognize, yeah. yeah, that like the true cost of the camp is not affordable to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, so, but we don't want the camp to only be for kids who can afford it. So we are a nonprofit and we do get donations from individuals and we have a lot of um, companies who do um, in-kind donations. We have like most um, vegan food companies that you can think of, a lot of them have donated um, food you know, product at mm -hmm. our camp so it helps to keep our costs down. Um, but yeah, we are a nonprofit, so donations to our scholarship fund really help make it possible for folks who otherwise couldn't afford the program to come to the camp. That's awesome. Yeah. And, uh, and how, how can people help you besides um, spreading the word. Yeah, well, that's the first thing is just spreading the word. So if you can think, if you know, a, a lot of folks that I know in my personal life don't aren't parents of teenagers, yeah. you know. So, um, but everyone maybe knows somebody who might know somebody. Um, so some of that is like kind of the word of mouth, or you know, sharing, you know, this video, or you know, posting in a in a Share Facebook group. Yes. Um, you know, that's the kind of thing that does kind of have a viral effect of reaching people beyond, you know, our own yeah. community. Um, but we, um, we are going to be hiring for staff members. Okay. And um, so that's, that's something for people to keep their eyes open for. And we are looking for people to help in terms of volunteering. There's a lot of, you know, small projects that people can do or bigger projects that people can do. Um, and of course, donating is a great thing to be able to contribute to our scholarship fund to make it so that it's, it's not a cost prohibitive program for people to be able to attend. That's awesome. Yeah. Do you have anything else you'd like to add? Any, any, how can people find out about it? Where are you located? Yeah, so we have locations around the country. This year we're going to be in California, in Massachusetts, and New York. Um, we've had a lot more demand on the East Coast, so we're expanding our East Coast presence and especially for your audience um, we actually I mentioned that our camp is typically not about any one topic mm -hmm. and that each camper chooses their IOI that they want to focus on their issue of importance but this past year for the first time we did a special camp just for animal advocates at Woodstock Farm Sanctuary in upstate New York cool. yeah it was amazing and we're doing that again and this what year do you do, what do you do at the sanctuary when so there? we have so it's a similar to our regular camp but with a focus on animal issues but 
each day there is an opportunity. We have free time a couple times each day that normally people spend doing, you know, whatever they might want to do at free time, just kind of chilling or organizing a soccer game or doing that kind of thing. But at this session, they have an opportunity to meet the animals. So the sanctuary staff have been amazing and they take us on tours each day. So they get to spend about an hour um, each day visiting with different animals, as well as they get a whole tour of the camp, of the, the sanctuary on the, on the, one of the, you know, at the beginning of the camp. Do you welcome veg curious children? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. To so, that particular camp? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, at any of our sessions, you know, we always attract, because our food is vegan, we attract you know, a good number of our kids find out about us through like a vegan blog or organization mm -hmm. um, or by Googling, you know, vegan or vegetarian summer camp. But we get a lot. That's not the point of the camp. It's an yeah. activism camp and a leadership camp. It's amazing vegan food. We have like personal vegan chefs working at our that's camp. The food awesome. is amazing. Yeah. So it's a great way to expose young people who maybe never even thought about their diet as something that they can do to make a difference, yeah. you know, activism wise. So in terms of finding out more about the camp and registering for the camp, if people are interested, our website is yeacamp.org, Y-E-A-C-A-M-P.org. And there's all the dates and the details of the locations. And if someone is really passionate about animal activism, of course, it's great for them to come to the New York session if that is, you know, the dates work and the location works. But each of our camps is, you know, are perfect for young animal activists or activists on any progressive yeah. cause. So we have this year a camp in California, one in Massachusetts and one in New York um, at different dates throughout the summer that people can check out. Can people find you on social media? Yeah. So if you go to at YEA camp on uh, Instagram or on on Twitter or you know slash yay camp on Facebook um, is a great way to reach us and we have we've had kids from more than half of the states come to the camp That's so we have awesome. people flying in from all over the country yeah so oh, and lastly, how, yeah how long have you been doing this this is gonna be our eighth summer I kind of can't believe it we've done 20 sessions of yay camp 20 sessions 20 sessions so. a big growth yeah yeah our first year we had it was in 2009 we did a pilot program with 15 kids and um it was amazing it was like such i was kind of um you know we had uh you know that first year we just wanted to you know try out a lot of things and you know make sure that this model was going to work that there would be interest you know and that camp was was amazing i remember the last night of camp was like one of the most memorable of my life. It was just so gra you know, grateful and um, and proud that it had come come to fruition because yeah. I had spent a you know it was a long time coming and developing the camp. Um, but this summer we reached almost 100 kids. We had 50 ki 52 kids I think at our New York camp was the biggest one we've ever had. So you know in multiple states you know we've just come a long way from our like little humble beginnings of 15 like our first year I don't think anyone paid the full price we were like please come to this camp I know we are this is our first year like we have no testimonials yeah. no pictures you know so now we've got like hundreds of testimonials and pictures and Can you know stories website? yeah I know I yeah. saw uh, on YouTube they have testimonials from yeah uh, campers as yeah well. Yeah, and we've got such amazing staff, so I would imagine that a lot of people watching, you know, that watch your videos and are, are part of your com online community, you know, might be potential staff members. Nice. Um, we're always, How do you find your staff? We, a lot of it is people who find us or okay. will post things um, and share around, but um, we look for people who have experience and passion for multiple different social justice issues, so not just animal rights or the environment but you know are pretty knowledgeable and um, sympathetic to a number of different causes and um, who also have experience working with youth okay. so um, you know those are uh, you know I, I my one of my favorite things about the camp is just the awesome staff that we have the awesome kids that we have the awesome food that we eat it's kind of like you bring Sounds all those like things together awesome it's pretty great general. yeah yeah. Okay. Well, I we gotta we gotta work at the camp one of these summers. Yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna convince Jack to yes. let me just. I'll, 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 I'll sign the I'll sign the I'll sign the online <laughs> petition. I'll be the first one to sign. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I'd like to thank you. For thank being you. My very first guest. I really enjoyed hearing from you. I think you're incredibly inspiring. Aww. She dedicates her entire life to helping animals and children, and uh, just being a wonderful awesome great fantastic person uh and so if you can check out her work at yaycamp.org and uh add 
at her on all the social media channels. And thank you for watching. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks so much, Tony. Bye. Bye. Okay. <laughs> okay. <coughs> you got this. Okay. Mm.